நண்பர்கள் அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் சமீபத்தில் நான் பேசின தமிழ் வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கில மொழிபெயர்ப்போட ஆங்கிலத்தில் பேசப்பட்டு தீபா அவர்களால் பேசப்பட்டு மிகப்பெரிய ஒரு நல்ல வரவேற்பை பெற்று வருகின்றன அப்படிங்கிறது எல்லோருக்குமே தெரியும் கிட்டத்தட்ட நாற்பதுக்கும் மேற்பட்ட வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கிலத்தில் என்னுடைய தமிழ் வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கிலத்தில் மொழிபெயர்த்து போடப்பட்டு வருகின்றன மிகுந்த வரவேற்பு எல்லோருமே நல்லா வெல்கம் பண்ணுறீங்க தெரியுது இப்பொழுது ஏற்கனவே நான் பேசிய பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் ஒவ்வொரு தனித்தனி கிரகங்கள் அதாவது பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் சூரியன் சந்திரன் செவ்வாய் ராகு உள்ளிட்ட ஒன்பது கிரகங்கள் எந்த நிலையில் எப்படி இருந்தால் நல்ல பலன்களை தரும் என்பதை பேசிய ஒரு மிகுந்த வரவேற்பை பெற்ற பன்னிரெண்டு லக்ன வீடியோக்கள் இப்போது ஒவ்வொன்றாக ஆங்கிலத்தில் மொழிபெயர்க்கப்பட்டு அடுத்தடுத்து உங்களுக்கு வர இருக்கிறது இதில் இன்னொரு சிறப்பு என்னென்னா அவ்வப்போது உயர்நிலை வகுப்புகளில் நான் பேசிய சில விளக்கங்கள் சில சூற்றுமங்களை கூட தீபா அவர்கள் வந்து இந்த நடுவில் இந்த பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் ஒன்பது கிரகங்கள் தனித்தனியே என்ன பலன்களை செய்யும் என்ற ஆங்கில வீடியோக்களுக்கு நடுவே என்னுடைய உயர்நிலை வகுப்புகளில் நான் சொன்ன கருத்துக்களையும் இணைத்து தனித்தனி வீடியோவாக வெளியிட இருக்கிறார்கள் வழக்கம் போலவே இந்த ஆங்கில வீடியோக்களுக்கு உங்களுடைய வரவேற்பு இருக்கும் என்பதை நம்புகிறேன் வாழ்த்துக்கள் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் திஸ் ப்ரோக்ராம் இஸ் பிராட் டு யூ பை குருஜி டிவி திஸ் யூடியூப் வீடியோ இஸ் அ டிரான்ஸ்லேஷன் ஆஃப் த தமிழ் வீடியோ ஆஃப் அ ரெனோட் அஸ்ட்ராலஜர் ஜோதிஷ் மகா குரு ஆதித்ய குருஜி த லிங்க் ஆஃப் த ஒரிஜினல் வேர்ஷன் தட் இஸ் த தமிழ் வீடியோ இஸ் கிவன் இன் த டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் பாக்ஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் வீடியோ This is Astrologer Deepa and I'm presenting you the English version of the Tamil video. In my last video I explained about the effects of moon in 12 different houses for the native of Virgo ascendant. In this video I'm going to explain the effects of moon in 12 different houses for the native of Libra ascendant. For the native of Libra ascendant moon is the lord of the 10th house. the house of profession when the lord of the 10th house moon resides in ascendant house it is considered to be auspicious if the ascendant lord is in the 10th house or when the 10th house lord resides in the ascendant house it is considered to be very auspicious if native is libra ascendant and libra rashi the native will be a very good businessman the native will manipulate in all the domains the native will perceive all the objects in terms of money since the lord of profession resides in the ascendant house the native of libra ascendant and libra rashi will perceive everything in monetary terms when moon resides in the ascendant house for the native of libra ascendant moon will be in the quadrant house to its own house when lord of profession moon resides in the ascendant house and the native is libra ascendant and libra rashi the native will be greatly interested in earning money will be a great businessman will live a luxurious life based on the subhatva of the moon the ascendant lord itself is venus and therefore based on the strength of the venus the native will avail all these benefits the ascendant lord venus should not be spoiled if both ascendant lord venus and moon are strong then the native will avail all the benefits that i explained now now let me explain the effects of the moon in the second house that is scorpio Moon gets debilitated in the house of Scorpio. The lord of the 10th house is in the 2nd house. If the moon is Subhatva in the house of Scorpio, it will deliver the profession related to speech, communication, etc. We have to decide the profession of the native based on which house 10th lord resides. therefore when moon resides in house of scorpio it will deliver profession related to speech and communication 
I have already mentioned in my video that when moon resides in Scorpio, please don't make predictions that moon is debilitated by merely its Thanabala. Please gauge the effects of the moon based on the light energy of the moon as well and its connection with natural benefits such as Jupiter, Venus. If moon is waxing or heading closely towards Purnima or if it is Purnima, then it will not give worse effects. When it has the connection of natural benefits like Jupiter and Venus, it will not do worse effects. Therefore, the effects will differ when moon is heading closely towards Amavasya in the second house and when moon is heading closely towards Purnima. To sum up, when the Lord of the 10th house resides in the second house, it will not deliver such worse effects. When moon resides in the second house, it should not be definitely a waning moon or heading very closely towards Amavasya because it is already in the debilitation status. Needless to say, moon should not be in connection with Rahu or Ketu. Now let me explain the effects of the moon in the third house that is in Sagittarius. When moon resides in third house that is in Sagittarius, it is considered to be good. Because when moon resides in the house of Jupiter, which is a natural benefit, it is considered to be good. When Lord of the 10th house resides in the third house, it means the native will set up a profession through his efforts. As per Bhavad Bhavam, though moon resides in 6th house to its own house, since it resides in the house of Jupiter, it is good to a certain extent. When moon resides in Sagittarius, and when it is waxing or full moon, you will have great affection and care towards the younger brother. As I had already mentioned about the strong bonds between the siblings of the Sri Lankan Tamil community, you will also share a great bond with your younger sibling. Having said this, for the native of Libra Ascendant and Sagittarius Rashi, if moon has light energy, it will not deliver worse effects. So please don't worry about it. Now let me explain the effects of moon in the fourth house that is Capricorn. When moon resides in the fourth house in Capricorn, don't worry about it because the moon gets Dikbala that is directional strength when it resides in Capricorn for the native of Libra Ascendant. The native of Libra Ascendant is already a good businessman. When moon has directional strength and aspects its own house, which is the 10th house to the ascendant, it will deliver more skill sets to the native to become a good businessman. The native of Libra ascendant knows the strategy to turn a stone into money. When the lord of the 10th house, which is moon with directional strength, aspects its own house, which is the house of profession. The native of Libra Ascendant not only turns a stone into money, the native can turn even useless things into money. The native has got the talent to turn a very, very ordinary stone into money. This planetary position will deliver the talent to turn something that cannot be used at all into a big money. The native will be extremely business minded. It is not wrong at all. Everybody wants to earn money in their life. One must earn money in a dharmic way, not in dishonest ways. The native of Libra Ascendant and Capricorn Rashi will be business minded and will possess no sentiments. The native of Libra Ascendant itself will have no sentiments. In any situation, native of Libra Ascendant will be untouched by sentiments. Whether it is their father or whether it is their mother, the native of Libra Ascendant will be completely unbiased and will not hesitate to point out the mistake of mother or father. The mindset of native of Libra Ascendant will be like, I am leading a dharmic life and you too have to lead a dharmic life. 
I will not cheat you and you don't have any rights to cheat me. This sort of inflexibility will be reflected in the minds of native of Libra Ascendant. For the native of Libra Ascendant and Capricorn Rashi, Moon will have Digbala and it will aspect its and it will aspect its own house cancer and strengthens the house of profession. When 10th house is Subhatva and the 4th house is also Subhatva and when Moon has got the connection of natural benefits like Jupiter and Venus, Moon will deliver professions related to its significance such as liquids etc. and it will take the native to very greater heights in such professions. Now let me explain the effects of Moon in the 5th house Aquarius. When Moon resides in Aquarius it is good. When the Lord of 10th house resides in 5th house it is okay. But here Moon needs to be Subhatva because this is a trine house. Therefore when Moon resides in the trine it needs to be Subhatva. It must definitely has its light energy or it should be in connection with natural benefits like Jupiter or Venus. Now let me explain the effects of Moon in the 6th house Pisces. When Moon resides in 6th house it is not good because Lord of the 10th house should not reside in the 6th house. When Lord of 10th house resides in 6th house the native will have a lot of hesitation while doing business. It is not a worse shortcoming when Moon resides in the 6th house because it is house of Jupiter and it will definitely give some profession to the native. Moon will not deliver such worse effects to the native of Libra Ascendant and Pisces Rashi. Now let me explain the effects of Moon in the 7th house which is Aries. When Moon resides in 7th house to the Ascendant, as per Bhavad Bhavam, the Moon will be in the 10th house to its own house. It is considered to be very auspicious. When Moon is Subhatva while residing in the 7th house and aspects the Ascendant house, it is considered to be very auspicious. For the native of Libra Ascendant and Aries Rashi, when Moon is heading closely towards Purnima or when it is Purnima and when it aspects the Ascendant house, it will deliver a lot of confidence and stable mind to the native. Even the marital life will be great for the native of Libra Ascendant. Now let me explain the effects of the Moon in the 8th house which is Taurus. Moon gets exalted in the house of Taurus. Since Moon gets exalted in the 8th house in Taurus, it will not deliver very worse effects. The reason is that Moon gets exalted. The Lord of the 10th house which is the house of profession gets exalted. When Moon gets exalted in the 8th house to the ascendant, it will deliver the house effects of the 8th house. The professions can be like share market, imports, exports or the profession that one cannot reveal to others or some secret professions or even the professions related to cheating. You have to make the predictions based on Subhatva and Pabhatva of the moon. Suppose if moon is Pabhatva in the 8th house, it will deliver the professions such as smuggling the goods. When it is Pabhatva, it will deliver the profession such as gambling etc. Where money is earned in dishonest ways. Based on the Subhatva and Pabhatva of the moon, you have to predict the profession of the native. Here indeed moon gets Nishbala. That is it loses its directional strength. However, it gets exalted. Though moon is in the 8th house to the ascendant house, it gets exalted. The Lord of the 10th house gets exalted. The Lord of 10th house gets exalted in the 8th house. And the 8th house signifies something that is hidden or secret. 
Having said all these, when moon gets exalted in the 8th house, it will deliver definitely a good profession. Based on Pabatwa and Subatwa of the moon, you can make predictions whether the native does any profession that he can reveal to others without hesitation. Based on the intensity of the Pabatwa, these effects will be more or less. The Subatwa and Pabatwa of the moon will make all the difference in the profession of the native. Now let me explain the effects of moon in the ninth house which is Gemini. As per Bhavad Bhavam, though moon is in the twelfth house to its own house cancer, it establishes the connection of Dharma Karma Devadi Yoga. That is the connection of ninth and tenth house in a way. The Lord of Karma is in the house of Dharma. That is the Lord of the tenth house which is the house of profession is in the house of Dharma or Bhagya. In case of Mercury and Moon or in Parivartan, then it establishes a complete Dharma Karmatipadi Yoga. This Yoga is considered to be auspicious for the profession. When the Lord of the 10th house resides in the 9th house, it should be Subhatva, that is, it should be Waxing Moon or Purnima. Now let me explain the effects of the Moon in the 10th house to the Ascendant which is Cancer. When Lord of the 10th house resides in its own house, it is considered to be auspicious. I will briefly explain how you have to make predictions for the 9th house, 10th house and 11th house. When the Moon resides in 9th house or 10th house or 11th house, it should be Subhatva. If moon is Pabatva, it will deliver certain shortcomings. Therefore, when moon resides in 11th house, that is Leo, moon has to be Subhatva in order to deliver benefits. Now, let me explain the effects of moon in the 12th house, which is Virgo. When the moon resides in the 12th house, if it has light energy, it is considered to be good. Virgo is the 12th house, the house of expenses and loss. In case of Mercury and Moon or in Parivartan, that is Lord of 12th house and Lord of 10th house or in Parivartan, the Moon will deliver professions related to liquids to the native. Because 10th house is a watery sign and Moon signifies liquids. Cancer is a watery sign and that becomes a house of profession for the native of Libra Ascendant. Therefore, the native will be much inclined towards a profession that involves liquids. And this is all about the effects of Moon in 12 different houses for the native of Libra Ascendant. In my next video, I am going to explain the effects of Moon in 12 different houses for the native of Scorpio Ascendant. Well, this is question time. When Moon is Pabatva in the 8th house, for the native of Libra Ascendant, what sort of professions it will offer to the native? Please write your answers in the comment section of this video. Based on the request of many of our subscribers, we have added the playlist link of all English videos so far published. Please find it in the description box. The link of Aditya Guruji's website is given below in the description box of this video that is accessible by both iOS and Android users. The link of Google Play Store app is also given in the description box that is available for only Android users. The Tamil version of this video is also available. Please check the description box. Write your feedback to astro.writetous at gmail.com. Thank you.